No. So now I'm turning this on. We're making, uh, we're having another foodie day. We made these cookies this morning. That's what we made this morning. And uh, yesterday we made sourdough bread. <laughs> Very good for cyclists, by the way. It's good for everyone. And it, it gets a bit better as like wine, the same. It's also getting better with age. Yeah, uh, a, a good sourdough bread will be better after it's a week old at room temperature. So we've put a couple of tablespoons of uh, cocoa powder because we're making brownies for my video. I'm starting over. I'm making brownies, so we put a couple things of cocoa powder in this mix, and we put the uh, we have ghee. Which is um, clarified butter. Clarified butter, which is my weakness. Well, it is one of my weaknesses. <laughs> and the reason of uh, your Iron Man like bones are strong. <laughs> and so we're putting we put a little flour in it. We put a little sourdough mix, which is when you're over when you're old. And we're just making the quick brownies. I mashed up a banana, put it in there. I put in two. Organic eggs, right? There's the eggshells. I save those. I feed those back to the chickens. And it can also be used for tightening the skin. Right? Uh, tightening and brightening beauty regimen for right. ladies. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know if it lightens the skin. I know that's a, every Indian's dream is to have a, be a white person. <laughs> Not white person, but they are obsessive about fair complexion. I understand that. But that's a shame. Yeah. So nowadays, I mean, uh, many people, the celebrities who endorse uh, fairness creeds and all, they are shying away from endorsing such brands. Which promotes in a way a racism, no? Yeah, it's racist. If you're white and you want to be brown, yeah, that's not really real. And you are what and you are, right? she loves to be, loves brown complexion and he loves to be like a brown man. So today he's all in a brown man sick of town. You have to whisk it for longer periods to get a smoothie batter. I think that that's what I would do. Or you like it a little crumpy. You know, I've never made it before, so I don't. I'm not sure how thick to make it. So I'm guessing. What about baking soda and baking uh, powder? Um, it's already there in the place. Uh, we could put a little bit of baking soda in it. So that it'll rise now, otherwise... We'll put a little. I didn't really want to... problem. A little baking soda. Just a little extra. And there's some sourdough in there too. And a little baking powder. See if that I should have added this before, but I think you can cook things and not do them in perfect order. Yeah, At least I hope so. Uh, one should be like um, always ready and open for trial and error, experimental basis, things on experimental basis. So I don't have my baking sheets up here. Rajma. <laughs> and 
Chowl, that's going to be our lunch. That's what we made yesterday. Yes. Sure, sure. Yeah. 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 That's somewhat like uh, that's somewhat like uh, anasazi beans. What do you yeah. how do you pronounce that? So that's the show that. Yeah, you can have a good look how beautiful it looks in the video. There you go. A real brownie. I hope it turns out into finished product. Just a little unsure about how thick to make to keep adding things to try to make it a little less soupy. Hopefully that will. What while you know baking and uh, and cooking, um, emphasis should be laid on proportion. Well, a little out of proportion, any ambitious. I have no idea what the nothing. proportion is. <laughs> I'm just trying to do this. I just remember when my mom used to make it, the batter would be pretty stiff for brownies. So that's what I'm trying to get to. Is but you are, on one hand you are adding uh, I mean solid to make it a little stiff and on the other hand you are adding... Well the yogurt might, might. The yogurt's a little bit... The yogurt's kind of a little cheesy. So I wanted a little more in there. Now I think starting now I can see it's looking good. See look at that. Mm -hmm. Dad was right. That this we need more of this. Dad said this was the secret. So we're gonna we're gonna have enough brownies in here for And as for me I cannot speculate on that because <laughs> I haven't tasted a brownie yet. So that's going to be the mixture. It's getting, it's getting a little bit. We're going to let it sit. I think it will stiffen up a little bit if you let it sit for a little bit. And I'm going to go get some pans. And uh, I think we're going to use bread pans. getting my work up. Now I'm using the, uh, you stir one way like that and then you stir the other way. It creates, uh, it draws the cosmic energy into the dish as, as any uh, whirlwind does or any, uh, this geometry actually creates its own electronic field. This way, I'm bringing the cosmic energy into the brownie. And of course, this is just a total experiment, but... Looks good to me. To me also. <laughs> so Don't do that! Nobody is going to eat your brownie now! <laughs> that's the end of part one. <laughs> of brownie making and I'll put it in pans and then we'll put it in the oven. Okay, see you after it's baked. Shit. Okay.